This is the part 2 of the Amiga 2000 inspection and repair video. As you can see, we got a picture now. It's flaky on the camera, but the real deal is just beautiful. It works perfect, guys. And look at this original Amiga 2000 HD. Commodore made the first HD computer, so this one ran in high definition back in 1987. Isn't that great? And it's got HDMI output. I'm gonna show you everything later. Isn't that just incredible? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's open this one and let's take a look because this is part two. And if you haven't watched part one, then go ahead and do so, guys. These cards on the inside of the Semiga 2000, I mean, you have seen them in details in the part one. This is the Commodore 20, 20, what's it called? 2091 hard disk controller, and it's got a SCSI hard disk built in. Nice. And I have seen up here, you can uh, adjust the jumpers to, let me see. Well, it's not easy to see on the camera, but as you can see, it's on zero megabytes of RAM and it can have 512 kilobyte, one megabyte and two megabyte RAM expansion directly on this board. Beautiful, beautiful card. As you can see, all the suckers for RAM expansions are empty. Really nice card. I love it. Original from Commodore. This loose cable goes to the front to the LED light that will blink when the hard disk unit is reading and writing. The other one here is when the Amiga is turned on, it goes down directly to the motherboard. The other card on the back here is a RAM expansion and, and this one has got four megabytes of fast RAM um, expansion here and it can be upgraded to eight megabytes of RAM as you can see in two sockets. So uh, yeah, great card. And as you all know, on the Amiga 2000, maximum fast memory is eight megabytes of RAM. So beautiful card, the motherboard cleaned, the water battery <laughs> removed, the CPU connector down there, the water battery did destroy some traces. And let me just put on some pictures now. <laughs> Here you can see on the pictures that, yeah, it got a new socket for the 68000 CPU and under the socket, as you can see, the traces were just, I mean, they were just eaten. Uh, they were gone. Um, it had five or six dead traces and I actually didn't repair this one. My friend took care of it. He uh, installed another uh, CPU socket, another CPU, because it had some uh, green juice on the CPU also. Um, but, and it took him uh, no time. I mean, I can, I, I can also repair it, but my friend, um, he ha his skills are just incredible against my skills that's the first part the second part he has got all the equipment you know <laughs> all the stuff uh, you need uh, when you want to work with some of this and not just the, all the equipment but he has got the right equipment high quality equipment and it's just a joy to you know let him do the job and we are in contact when he does uh, the repair so pictures are from him so I'm thankful he helps me great friend to have <laughs> so let's just give this one some power guys as you saw in the pictures before and now it boots up so another Amiga 2000 save now we have. so let's put the top on and this one actually um, 
this is just a logo, but usually when I get these, it's not clean but what but when I get these they're scratched and uh, but this one is in really really nice condition so that's nice let's just put it all together and give it some power guys all right the beautiful Amiga 2000 is turned on the red one is power LED the green one is hard disk activity the battery has been removed that's why you can see it says that it's 2010. This hard disk came with this Amiga. And as you watched at part one, <laughs> I got this one for free. I paid 1000 Danish for the uh, keyboard and I got the rest for free. And after this video, everything back and forth, still for free. So thank you again. <laughs> well, it had the it, it's in beautiful condition of course it didn't work it was junk for the previous owner but as the saying one man's junk is another one's <laughs> treasure so i'm really happy with this one it's really valuable for me guys uh, and junk for others <laughs> so let's look at this one as you can see it says 5 megabytes of RAM that means it has got 1 megabyte chip RAM on the motherboard and 4 megabyte fast RAM expansion nice nice the disk drive works I have been cleaned the disk drive. Xcurvy, Sackman's editor. All right, psychedelic colors. <laughs> oh, we got Amiga Basic, PC Util, PC Copy, Tools. Yeah, it's just a standard workbench 1.3, guys. Programs, no programs installed. I need a basic games. Oh, we got colonization. Is that an old 20 game? Let's take a look. And civilization. Let's try to load colonization and see what's gonna happen. Love that hard disk loading sound. It's not that. Um, I can hear the fan from the um, from the PSU, but the hard disk doesn't uh, make that you know high spinning tone. Real nice. The monitor here is just it's it's like new. I don't use CRT monitors. The picture quality. Let me see on the camera. Oh, it doesn't look that good, but the real deal, guys. It's it looks incredible. It looks incredible and this one it came boxed it's bright white trust me it's uh, I will show some pictures but it's dark now but the screen is bright white like new but um, and the picture quality is perfect. Everything is just perfect. It's got built-in speakers. Everything is just nice. But, oh, oh wait, and they look great on these big box Amigas. And retro guys love these monitors. I know it, I know it, guys. They're just, they're, they're, they're so high in demand and we all love them, but I don't use them because of the size of the screen. That's why. I mean, today I, 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 I'm used to use 40 inch monitor. So yeah, it is what it is guys. That's why you don't see these <laughs> CRT monitors that often on my videos. Yeah, and other than that, filming these monitors sucks big time. <laughs> uh, much better on the, uh, much better with the 
LCD monitors. Insert disc eight, nice installation, dude. <laughs> Shouldn't say that. All right, guys, so yeah, another Amiga 2000, fully working in beautiful condition with a virus on the disc. Oh, I remembered, uh, I forgot to put, off, put out the disc <laughs> from the drive. Um, but it's safe, it was dead. As you saw in part one, this one was only, was it just a black screen? I don't remember guys, but oh, let's check out that disc loading sound. Look at this, when it starts from the disk drive, it only starts off with the chip RAM and workbench 1.2 and not 1.3. I have never tried that before. And the hard disk is not on here. It cuts off everything else. All the expansions are off. That's odd. Let's try to reset and see what's gonna happen, guys. Reset. Check out the disc. Let's see what's gonna happen. It's looking for a disc, nothing is inserted. And release 1.3.3. It's Wednesday, 2010. Yeah, here we have the fully five mix of RAM. That's odd, man. This 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 one, <laughs> it just removes everything else. All right, guys, let's wrap this one up and say thank you for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed part one, uh, part one and this part two also. Great Amiga to have, great one to the collection. The Amiga 2000 is just, oh, I have so much love for it, guys. This one, of course, is gonna have the mega chip installed or something else i don't know what's it called which one to pick which one you prefer but i just know i wanted to have two mix of chip ram that's just a must that's the first thing other than that we're gonna find um something so i can install a compact flash card and install whd log games and have this beautiful system up and running so maybe in another video someday <laughs> so uh, until next time i hope you will press on that subscribe button and um, so we can see each other on the next video have a great day guys bye